Hey everybody out there, this is WJHS 91.5, coming at you with Columbia City News. If you like to cook and try new things, then come to Cook, Talk, and Taste at the Peabody Public Library. They meet 6 p.m. every third Wednesday of the month. Participants must register for a seat ahead of time at the Peabody Public Library website. This is WJHS 91.5. That was Where I Was by Kenny Wayne Shepherd on WJHS 901.5. Next up is Amazing by One Eskimo. Hey everybody out there, this is Mythos, the resident Greek mythology expert on WJHS 901.5. I know we're all bummed out about having to spend another year with COVID, so I'm here to tell you the two reasons that the Greeks would have thought this plague came from. Number one, no soy. Now, the Nosoi are personified spirits, or daemons, spirits of illness, plagues, and disease, released from Pandora's jar. For those of you that don't know what that is, here's a quick summary. Zeus gave Pandora a jar to keep safe and told her never to open it, but Pandora's curiosity grew too much for her. She opened the jar, releasing sickness, death, poverty, war, and many other unspecified evils. They were all let loose into the world. She slammed the lid down and trapped the last spirit that remained inside, Hope. Three of the spirits that escaped were the Nosoi. The second reason for COVID would be Apollo. The third reason for COVID would be Apollo. He's often seen as the god of sun, prophecy, music, and art, and often forgotten that his arrows have brought misery and plagues to the ancient Greek world. Homer's Iliad opens with Apollo descending on the Greek camp, punishing them for kidnapping and refusing to return a girl named Cherisus, the daughter of an Apollyan prophet. Ancient Greeks saw many illnesses as divine punishment. When they got sick, they would immediately pray to Apollo, trying to appease him so that no one else would get sick. Well, that's two ways to get sick. Another way would not be not to wear a mask in public. Keep safe out there, everyone. Let's make 2021 a good year. This is Mythos and WJHS 91.5. This is WJHS 91.5, and that was Until You by Dame Barnes. Next up is Can I Sit Next to You by Spoon. Kibaba continues to be hot this year. Columbia City High School basketball games are live here on WJHS 91.5. This is WJHS 91.5, coming at you with free online station streaming. Even if you're not cruising down the road, you can always listen to your favorite hits on your phone and computer. Now you don't have an excuse not to be turned in to WJHS 91.5. Hey everybody out there, this is Mythos and WJHS 91.5. I hope you're not freezing your toes off out there. Keep listening to hear more about Greek myth and how the newly deceased have to get past the most dangerous puppy in existence. Right here on WJHS 91.5. This is Mythos and I'll be coming at you in just a minute. Hey everybody out there, this is Mythos, the resident Greek mythology expert on WJHS 91.5. It's finally 2021, the beginning of a new year. Let's start this year off right by talking about the end. I mean the very end. Death. Let's talk about what happens after death. Greeks believe that your soul goes to the underworld. That's just where you go. But there are different regions of the underworld. Where you go depends on what you did in life. First, you die. That's just a given. Back then, your family would lay gold coins in your eyes or under your tongue to pay for your passage. Hermes, the god of travel, would take your soul down to the underworld where you'd meet Charon, the boatman. For a price, he'll take your soul across the river Styx, the black river of hatred, into the gates of the underworld where you'll meet Cerberus, the three-headed hound, Unlike how you would assume the giant hound of the underworld is, he's actually quite kind to the souls that enters through its gate. If you try to leave or enter the underworld while you're still alive, then he gets mad. Next up, the judges. Minos, Radiflumus, and Achaeus. They determine what region you'll spend the rest of eternity in. The underworld is divided up into four regions. First up, Tartarus. That's reserved for the worst of the worst. Then, the fields of mourning, for those who were hurt by love. Next, the Ospital Metals for the souls of the majority of ordinary people. And lastly, the asylum fields, reserved for the best of the best of humanity. This is Mythos, and that was the layout of the Greek underworld. Keep listening to WJHS 91.5 for more Greek mythology and your favorite songs. WJHS 91.5. Basketball continues to be hot this year. Columbia City High School basketball games are live here on WJHS 91.5. This is Mythos on WJHS 91.5. That was Go Easy by Matt Mason. And I'm ending my show with Blue Sky by Patty Griffin. 
For more myths, check out WJHS901.5.org or keep listening right here for your favorite hits.